And here's a problem dealing with calculating standard error confidence intervals and working with the standard error formula. So we have one professional golfer who's played 81 rounds of golf. Left off the S. Rounds of golf. He has a mean score of 73.5 and a standard deviation of 1.4. So let's calculate the standard error. The standard error is simply the standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. So this would be 1.4 over the square root of 81, or 9. And so if we do 1.4 divided by 9, we get a standard error of about 0.16. It's 0.155 repeating, so we'll round it to 0.16. Okay, next we want to find the 95% confidence interval. Now this would be the mean minus a z value times our standard error, followed by the mean plus a z value times the standard error. Okay. From above we've got the mean of 73.5. Okay, the z value we're going to use, since this is asking for a 95% confidence interval, the z value we will use will be 1.96. And then the standard, this part right here is the standard error, which we calculated up here to be 0.16. Okay. Then we have the same thing on the opposite side with a plus. So then if we calculate these numbers, on the left-hand side we get about 73.2, and on the right-hand side we get about 73.8. So if we're trying to find the actual mean of this golfer, okay, based on the 81 rounds we know, he had a mean of 73.5, but what we're saying is we're about 95% sure that if he, that his actual average is somewhere between 73.2 and 73.8. Another way to say this is if we did this test 95 times, 95 out of the 100 times we did it, his actual average would be between the two numbers we got. Okay, the third problem says, suppose he wanted a standard error of 0.1. Okay, remember right now the standard error is 0.16. So if he wanted to lower his margin of error, how many rounds of golf would he have to play to get a overall error to 0.1? Well, this time we know what the standard error is. It's 0.1. His standard deviation is still 1.4. But now we want to know what the sample size would be. So we multiply both sides by the square root of n. Divide by 0.1. And square both sides. And so what we get is a number of 196. So if he wants to play uh, and get a get it to where his margin of error, his standard error is just 0.1, then he would need a sample of almost 200 uh, rounds of golf.